and this is Pumpkin, and I'm Ariel. And today we are showing you our favorite treats for a Halloween party. Woo. So we're having a monster mash. Bash. Mash. Mash or bash? He did the mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. All right, what do you want to start with first? Because everything here is so delicious and you're going to love all of it. And they're all very fun and creative and really yeah. easy things to make that you can have at any Halloween party or take to your friend's party. Let's start with the apple cider donut holes. So these are amazing. They're so delicious and we made them with apple cider. A little cinnamon and nutmeg, which gives them that apple pie spice. Yeah, and the whole recipe is right here. And if you've made our donuts before, it's very similar. And then this time, we also sprayed coconut oil on the donuts to kind of glaze them a little bit. And then we put the cinnamon sugar on top. Oh, tasting? Yeah, thank you. Oh, cheers. Mm, it's more like a one biter. If you have a big bite. <laughs> oh man, I dropped it on the floor. See, you should have done it in one bite. Mm. And what you can do is put your donut holes in like a little container like this. So these are the little donut holes for the party. And then you can walk around and be like, hi, hey, would you like a donut hole? <laughs> yeah. If you don't know, you should know, I love chili. It's one of my favorite things in the winter or the fall to make just a big old batch of chili and save it for a few days. Mm -hmm. And what better way than to serve it in a pumpkin bowl? That's so, so you just, cute. yeah, take a small pumpkin, carve it out, pour the chili in. This one is actually the pumpkin chili from the nutrition plan. Yum. Hmm. Pumpkin chili. And you always actually make big batches and then oh. you give some to neighbors. The neighbors it's come so over, cute. people take them home. I'm like, take some mm -hmm. Tupperware. You can freeze it. You can unthaw it. You can eat it for a week straight. And we saved the seeds. So we're going to bake the seeds and put a little like cinnamon sugar on it. Yeah, the seeds are really good in a lot of the recipes too. I've made like pesto dressing where the seeds give it like a nice texture. Mm. But these are just very simple and fun. You can set them around your house, put them on a tray, but look how cute, it's just little oranges. And who can guess what the stem is? It's a green bean. No, taste it. Oh. It's a what kale stem. Oh, that's so cute. So we actually <laughs> saw these on Pinterest and then we saw them on laurenconrad.com and we thought they were so cute. So if you set these out at a party and someone actually wants to grab it and have a healthier choice, it also makes like for cute decor. <laughs> so this one is... A candy corn parfait. Yeah. You know those nice little treats that Cat especially loves, the candy corn? So we did four little candy corn on top. And this is pineapple on the bottom and then tangerines or oranges and then it's topped with so you can use Greek yogurt, coconut yogurt, almond yogurt, soy, whatever you prefer and there's actually Greek style almond yogurt too which is thicker yeah. and it's delicious. Yeah. What? Did you feel that? It must be a full moon. Ooh. All right so the last recipe right? Yes. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> I love this one. Kat made this last, or year, two years ago? I made it like 10 years in a row, girl. Well, first time for me was two years ago. And last Halloween though, we were um, in we Hawaii. Were, yeah, we were. We were filming the DVD though. Yeah. Which is good. We missed last Halloween, so we're taking an extra advantage of this one. <laughs> So I've been making this. This is the graveyard cake. Now it is a chocolate layered cake with our frosting. The frosting is on the site so you can go find the recipe here. It's made out of coconut cream and it is delicious. It, the texture is amazing. And then the chocolate cake, we have a surprise for you. <laughs> it's a monster mash. It's chocolate perfect fit. So you have been requesting this for so long and we are so excited that you have made perfect fit the brand that it is today. And we could have never dreamt up what it's become. And what better a day than today to announce this because in spirit of National Chocolate Day, here it is. It is decadent, it's smooth. It smells so good. Oh, yeah, this is great for all your baking recipes, morning coffees, like the mocha coffee and smoothies. Yeah. Oh, I've been making it with the peanut butter smoothie. Oh my gosh. I'm 
So nice. this is, yeah, it's delicious. And it's made with cacao for all of our vegans. We should taste test this layer cake. Okay. Drop it in. Did you get any? <laughs> There you have it. And all the recipes for all this deliciously spooky stuff are on the blog and you can link right here. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, that is not funny, no. <laughs> all right, party's over. Get no, out! Party's not over. We want to see your monster ah, mash. Monster mash! Show us your monster mash and spook somebody. <laughs> and we want to see your spook on Instagram, hashtag T-I-U spook. Have a happy Halloween. Bye. <laughs> we forgot to show the worms. Oh, I got worms. Me too. I'm a skunk. Do you know what that's from? No. Is it a movie reference? Yeah. Yes. Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> when in doubt, Dumb, Dumb and Dumber. Dumber. This one? Yeah, you just eat that. Try it. Don't break your teeth. Looks like I'm making out with the skull. Sorry, Brian. I mean, Eric. What? Ariel's with Eric. Who's Brian? Who's Eric? <laughs> hey, Ariel. Hmm. Ah! What? No! No! <laughs> you want some? No. Mm -hmm. Smells like spray. Mm, I'm gonna have some more chili. We actually need like spoons in this. Oh, house. he has a spoon. Mm. Ew. Mm. Ah! Hello. Yeah. <laughs>